Hello and welcome to a solo unboxing of the deluxe battle deck of the Zapdos EX coming out on March 22nd. So I've not really got an idea of what's in here besides, of course, the obvious Zapdos is going to be in here and the Miraidon. I've only recently got into this uh, this little bit of a hobby. I'm going to probably look try and uh, try and play some with my friends soon. And I don't know. I have really not got a single idea of what's in this, but however, I'm just going to go ahead and open it, and we're going to see what's in there. Probably actually do it this way around. I was going to like do it the other way around, but everything was going to like fall out on my lap, which would have been a terrible, terrible idea. Something actually did fall out, which is uh, these little, I believe, status marker coins. I'm not really quite too sure yet on what is what, but otherwise, you know, just having some fun with this. I currently have the Coquavel and the Meowskareta deck together with a Lucario deck. And I am, uh, yeah, I've been playing a little bit of the TGC. It's been fun. Uh, of course, with the, uh, I think these are the damage markers. Of course, we have the Zapdos coin that this probably fell out. Looks pretty cool. Trying to figure out how this setup works. Also, I'm not entirely sure how good this setup is. Be sure to let me know. Like, I don't know. Just like a simple setup with my phone. Nothing too interesting. Using Camo Studio. A little program, to be honest. Also, there's something else that fell out, which was the. Uh, I think is how you're supposed to play these decks anyway. I'm not entirely sure. The other deck being the uh, the Ninetales deck that came, is going to come out with this, or it came out rather. However, I did not get the Ninetales. Oh, there we go. We have the Zebdos deck over here. Uh, just like, pretty much like explaining what Zebdos does. Zebdos AX multi shot lightning attack only does 120 damage to the opponent active Pokemon, which is enough to knock out another Pokemon EX with the real value from. Doing 90 damage to one of their benched Pokemon as well, which will often be enough for a knockout, especially since the target is already damaged. Now we call a Lucha, the deck has several ways to make sure your opponent has damaged Pokemon on their bench. The easiest way is to just play Halucha. Its flying entry ability lets you put one damage counter on two of your opponent's benched Pokemon, instantly making it vulnerable to a multi shot lightning. Uh. I'm actually not going to read more of this because I don't really want to know what's in here. Just like when I kind of get surprised, see what's in there. Uh, we're going to pop these out. Of course, we have the, uh, the carts. A Zabdos EX twice. Oh, still trying to, like I said, trying to figure out how to manage my camera over here. Try and grab it like this. Really cool looking art, in my opinion. Honestly, this is really why I, why I started it too, because I've been really appreciating the art that came in the cart lately. Played a little of Pokemon TGC back in the past on the, the good old Game Boy. Which also came out back a while on the Switch. Honestly, I've been kind of meaning to uh, replay them. We got some uh, Maridon. Another cool looking artist, like it looks like it's gonna come pop out right out of the card. Looks really, really cool. Of course, we already got a little deck box. I did also record like the Corquavel and the Miosca Raida deck. If you guys are interested in, uh, I don't know, my openings of that, let me know in the comments down below. Another like not recent decks, and I thought I'd do something on this because this one came out recently or it's gonna come out. Should be like about out right now, at this point. Well, anyway, let me just put this little plastic aside. Open it right here. Normally, I've I've noticed the other decks have been fairly uh, or also talking about the unboxing. It's like they're already obviously unboxed, but if you guys are interested in like, I don't mean just going over the cards, just like I don't know, have me ramble a little bit. And by all means, let me know. Uh, to disappoint, I'm probably gonna keep this coat myself because I, I have been playing the TGC game recently. And it's been fun, like I said. So these usually seem to come in like an order of like ways. Like you first start with like uh, 
the evolutions of the Pokemon, and then followed by the second pair, which I guess is also going to be Lucha at this point. So we have Tommy. We're going to have, we have Professor's Research. Get some energy. This deck is already looking really mixed. Like it's, it's got pre shuffled or something. Which, I don't know, kind of does make it interesting to me. I don't know. We got Rhyme. If you don't do the Rhyme, you do your time. Uh, draw three cards, switch out your opponent's active Pokemon to the bench. The po your cho Pokemon chooses the new active Pokemon. All right. Get ourselves a nice Ultra Ball. Electric Generator. Have not really seen this one yet. Look at the top five cards of your deck and attach up to two basic energy cards you find there to your benched Pokemon. In any way you like. Shuffle the other cards into your deck. Uh, Nest Ball, I believe, is just a, yeah, it's just a basic Pokemon. Grab a basic Pokemon and shuffle your deck. Get some energy. Bravery Charm, the basic Pokemon in this card is attached to gets plus 50 HP. Untouched. Well, here's the Halucha that we that was spoken of. So I realize I probably just like very messed up how to uh, this card. So I'm just like gonna just gonna go through the card art real quick. If, if, if I'm gonna do this in the future, I should probably uh, get a little bit better of a setup. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see it well. I'm sure most of you guys that are would watch this probably already have seen like most of these cards, if not have really seen all of them. But just in case, so you guys can see. Let's see how I can best. Let's uh, we got ourselves a youngster and our Ultra Ball. I'm also just gonna try and sort them, just like make it l l make the deck look neat later. I know it really doesn't matter if you like, shuffle the deck continuously. So got ourselves Riku, one of the uh, cooler Elite Four members of Scarlet and Violet. Got another Bravery Charm. Basic energy of super odd. Shuffle up to three in any combination of the Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. Interesting. This was another Pommy. Probably have four of those, I assume. Earthen Vessel. I'm not entirely sure. This looks like a thing from Tinglu. Uh, you can use this card only if you discard another card from your hand. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards, reveal them, and put them in your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Interesting. Got some Palmod. That's a really happy looking Palmod. We got some Jacques. We got some energy. The Nest Ball again. Energy. Switch. I believe this is just like so you can switch out your active Pokemon. Yeah, it is. So I can like see what's on the text without like, you know, having to put a card away. Get a youngster. Another bravery charm. Halucha. Energy. Another Pomo. Professor Seda. Rhyme. Riku. Or Rika. Why was did I say Riku before? I think it's my friend's influence, to be honest. Boss's order gets us. A little cart. Another earthen vessel. Some basic energy. Another Palmy. That's the third Palmy so far, I believe. Another Jacques. Palmod. Ultra Ball. I think we're starting to get into territory where we probably have seen already all of the cards. But honestly, this is just basically just me sorting them at this point. A youngster. I believe that's a third Halucha. Another Energy. Electric Generator. Another Palmo. A Nest Ball. Energy. More rhyme. Where's time? Can't really eat. Why why do we have rhyme? We don't we, we don't have time. That's rude. Another palmy. That is my fourth palmy, I believe. So we got another bravery charm. Some energy. More energy. More energy. And that. I believe that is all of the cards of the of this deck. So we got ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 energies, which seems like basic. I don't really know what the exact thing is for, like, how much you get of everything. Gonna give this a quick sort. So we got ourselves, yeah, like I said, four Pawnee. I've noticed this of like the uh, the Miaska Raider deck and the Kokwavel deck. Uh, three Palmots, and then we have. Oh, wait. I think I messed up somewhere. Oh, yeah. I put a Palmot on top of the Palmo stack. Oops. I swear, I'm a pro of this. Uh, no, I'm not. I, I really am not. So we got three Palmos, two Palmots, and two Haluchis. Pretty decent, I say. Of course, on the top of that, we also have, like I said, or we shown before, the wonderful Maridon and Zabdos. Definitely gonna like play this deck a little bit in a Pokemon TGC uh, game and see how it is. I'm gonna put this coin as the next to here. I'm trying to find a place for this. But honestly, I'm not really sure. I'm trying to put it like right here. So yeah, um, that was, I guess, my unboxing of this deck. Um, let me know what you think. Do you think these cards are worth? I am not at all up to date with the meta of the, uh, the Pokemon TGC. I've just been playing it for fun. Having some fun collecting the cards that I think are cool. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do the collecting yet, but I guess we'll see. But yeah, with that said, thank you guys so very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below. And I am going to get a Elite Trainer box soon just to open some more cards. And apparently you can use the box of storage, which seems cool. There's some stuff, other stuff in there I'm interested in. So if you want to see that, then let me know. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!